guys, so first off, I apologize for the way I sound in this video. Um, I am either coming down with a cold or it's allergies, um, and they are throwing me for a loop today. My throat is sore, but I mean, it's not, like, it's not sore to eat or drink anything, but it's sore and I can kind of, cat bombing! <laughs> I can feel like, um... And just like all the post nasal drip, and my head is just like uh, super, um, feels like super bloated. So, um, yeah, I don't feel the best today. Um, I also, um, I kind of wanted to just do like an update video just to kind of catch everybody up to speed because I know. Um, I did post a video, I believe it was yesterday or the day before, um, so it might have been two days ago, of, um, you guys saw that adult coloring book video, um, and I mentioned moving I mentioned moving in that video, um, and a couple of people were, um, asking me for an update and I figured you know what it's time to sort of to YouTube and videos um, and just kind of you know do a general catch you guys up to speed um, so yes um, it is October 29th today 29th 29th um, so October is almost over and I can't believe it um, we have been now, October, or November will be the third month, so we've been in our new apartment for two months. Um, we moved finally September 5th. Um, it took a long while because the apartment complex that we ended up moving to has two rental options. They have a market rate and they have a tax credit rate and tax credit is like a whole government program that will give them money at the end of the tax year that they can give the savings you know on rental um so it's based kind of on your income so we stop we went through we went through that and um, it was a lot of paperwork and just waiting on different things to be approved. So we are finally moved in. Um, I am planning to do a house tour. Um, I had one, but the way it came out, it was just too shaky. Um, so I wanted to re-record it, but our house is like literally a virtual mess right now because, um, yeah, things have just been... Uh, things have not been um, very good in our lives right now. Um, I have been dealing with, my mom passed away, obviously, as you guys know, in June. So it's been July, August, September, October. It's been four months now, almost five actually, um, that she's been gone. And it's really, this, this last month, it's really started hitting me a lot more. Um, and I, I'm, I'm accepting it, but at the same time, it's starting to become a lot more, more real. Um, and everything is new and different because there's so many things that now we're trying to figure out, like, what are we doing for Thanksgiving? What are we doing for Christmas? You know, and then going and celebrating my mom's birthday which we we did our usual tradition my mom always loved to go with her kids and grandkids um to forest park zoo up in massachusetts and then we'd usually end up going to dinner at golden corral so we all went and did that um so that was exciting so we did that for my mom's birthday which was would have been the 10th uh was is the 10th um, so it would have been her 65th birthday. So we went and we celebrated that as a family. Um, and then it's been just a lot of different, um, 
things going on. Steven's been dealing with um, uh, foot pains, and so he's been going to the podiatrist a lot and trying different things out. He also started working at the Amazon warehouse, so that's been exciting. It's also been getting used to it because he did quit the gas station where he was working, and then he worked temporarily at Domino's, and then for a little bit he was working Amazon and Domino's um, once Amazon finally um, got all set up and then now he's made the decision to work solely at Amazon. So it's been getting used to that um, and getting used to, he goes into work for 6.30, but he leaves here about 5.30. And then he gets home, uh, he gets out at like 4.30, 5 o'clock, um, and he gets home about 5.30 in the morning. So um, he's gone for that like whole 12 hour period. So he works four 10 hour days and then this week they're actually having mandatory overtime. So um, that's been going really well. Um, and it's been getting used to that. Um, and my depression has been kind of high, you know, getting used to all the new changes and moving and, you know, my mom coping with my mom's death and, Steven's new work schedule, but also, um, I've been having some pains and things. Um, it started as abdominal pain, and it was, like, right after we moved. It was a couple days after we moved, so I figured, well, maybe, you know, I pulled something when we were moving, you know, and I just, I let it go. So the pain went away, and then I came back, and... I was like, you know what, well, it feels kind of crampy, maybe it's just, you know, like a menstrual, menstrual cramping, um, and I ended up having a period, and then I said, oh, maybe that was it, so it went away, and then it started coming more regularly, and more often, and there was one day, driving home from church, I just, like, I was sitting there, and all of a sudden, I got this sharp pain that made me cry out, um, and then I made an appointment with the doctor, and they couldn't get me in with my regular doctor, so they got me in with another doctor in the practice. And so we did blood tests and urine tests. They had me do a stool test, and then they called me and said they wanted another blood test and urine test, so I went back and I did that. And then we also did an ultrasound, and I had my ultrasound yesterday. And I got home, and I realized I had a voicemail on my cell phone from the doctor and he was like you know call me um to go over your results and I was like oh no the last time a doctor's called me that soon after like any testing um was when they diagnosed me with my cancer so I called them back and they didn't um end up they um didn't end up getting the doctor, so they left a message to call me back, and then I was on the phone with the pediatrician, which is another reason I will get to in just a second. Um, so I didn't answer my phone when they called me back, so I got off the phone with the pediatrician. I called them back, but the doctor was not available. Um, so I listened to the voicemail, and he said, we'll call after one. So I waited until after 1, I waited till about 1.15, and I called back, and the doctor was in with patients, so I had to wait for him to call me. So it was about 3 o'clock, he finally called me, and he said, I have a large gallstone, which has been causing all this pain, and the reason for the numerous blood tests is because my liver enzymes are off, most likely um, because of, like, the, the gallstone. Um... So they are referring me to the surgeon, and we will meet with the surgeon. I'm probably going to rally for my gallbladder to be taken out because both my sister Trisha and my dad have had their gallbladders out, and I've been like doing some research and reading that gallstones and gallbladder problems can run in families. So um, I don't know at this point what the surgeon's going to do, but I'm probably going to rally for the um gallbladder to be removed so that is coming up um and then the reason i was on the phone with the pediatrician is to 
have Lucas's stitches removed. Yes, I said stitches. So, um, God, what day was it? Was it Monday? Monday? Yes, it was Monday? I think, yes, it was Monday. Um, so, Monday, uh, Lucas was playing on the couch with a pair of just tongs, kitchen tongs, um, and I, I don't mind him playing with them, you know, he, he plays with them fine, and all of a sudden, he started crying, and I thought, well, maybe, you know, he just, like, you know, pinched his skin or something and just, you know, scared himself, but I pulled him on my lap, and then all of a sudden, I see just blood pouring down, and I'm like, oh my god, what the hell? So I run him into the bathroom, and I stick him in the bathtub, and there's just blood everywhere. And I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? I finally realize it's coming from his middle finger, and it's pulling, and it's pulling. And I try to run his hand under the water, you know, so I can clean the blood so I can see where it's coming from. And he's just screaming and screaming and screaming. And then I realize there's, like, this jagged cut on his finger and I'm like oh my god oh my god and it's bleeding and I'm applying pressure oh no yeah your band-aid came off again so um I scream for Steven who's asleep um and he gets up and he comes and then he's like I think it's really deep so I called the pediatrician and um, I was waiting for a call back, and I was like, you know, Stephen, this is not getting any better. We need to go to the children's hospital because I think he needs stitches. So we went to the children's hospital, and sure enough, he ended up needing stitches. Um, oh, yeah, you brought me your Band-Aid? Oh, no, your Band-Aid came off again. So, yes, he's been... Oh, yeah, your boo-boo. All right, well, let Mommy finish this, and then I'll put it back on. I've been trying, we've been trying a lot of different things, um, and he always is seeming to rip his band-aids off, so I may actually end up taping, um, I may end up taping, like, two of his fingers together, either like this, or maybe even three of them, um, just to get him to leave them on, and this is, like, I tried, I also tried Lisa Frank band-aids because I figured they'd be like stickers to him. They're not. So I may end up going out and getting more like, like smaller, like toddler band-aids that fit. Yeah? Your boo-boo? Can I, sh can we see your boo-boo? Come here. Can you show YouTube? Can you show YouTube your boo-boo? Can you show him your boo-boo? Cheese. You want to show him your boo-boo? I'm going to tell you, look away if you're, if you're squeamish. So that's his boo-boo. He got some stitches. I think he got one, two, three. Is that only three? Three? Oh, I guess I only did three. I thought they told me they were going to do five of his seven. Yeah, you're talking? Come here, you want to talk? Come here, you want to tell them? No, you're just watching Mommy. In, you're watching Mommy in the viewfinder? Ah, ah, ah. Don't talk. Don't touch any buttons. You're watching mommy? Are you watching mommy? Oh, you're telling them about Sesame Street? Is that bunny? Are you playing with the camera? Alright, so I will wrap this up so that I can go get him a new band-aid and then resting and regaining my energy and my strength so that I can deal with everything that is going on. Oh, the kitty scratched you, which is how your baby Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this update, and I hope I can start getting back into YouTube and giving you some more videos, especially as Thanksgiving and Christmas start coming up. I can do, you know, some crafting stuff and just sharing the joy with you guys. Um, so, yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.